Hi guys! So since summer's over, um, I decided to talk a little bit about whitening creams. No, I'm not advocating that beauty is actually in lighter skin. Trust me, I have met some fierce, fabulous, beautiful looking chocolate and caramel mamas out there. But I do want to talk about the different kinds of skin whitening creams that are out there as well as the options that you could choose from and I kind of want to give you some information on how whitening creams work on the skin. Now skin color is actually determined by melanin. Um, the more melanin you have, the darker your skin color. The darker your skin color, the more protection you have from UV and UVB rays. Trust me, having melanin is actually a good thing. Now when your skin is inflamed by a boo-boo or an acne, what happens is the melanocytes create more melanin in that spot. So basically it's saying, dude, you need to get your butt over there to protect that little spot. So nothing really bad about it. However, when that little inflammation or the little acne or pimple heals up, it actually darkens in color. Acne pigmentation is not a scar. In fact, you don't have to do much to it. It should actually fade within 24 months. Two years, too long, right? So to speed up the process, we have to figure out a way to diminish melanin and that's where whitening creams and lightening agents comes in. So there's actually three types of chemicals that I have actually researched and used within my past and this is why a lot of you guys don't believe that I used to have acne. Secret is, I am a lightening cream antioxidant slut. First kind of chemical I want to talk about is glutathione. It's fairly new as a skin whitening agent but it has always been in the market as an antioxidant agent. GSH inhibits the production of melanin and it actually comes in two forms, either a vitamin pill or a cream. It also comes as an injection as well, but I want to talk about that later on in the future with something else. Now, I used the lotion by Skin White and this can be used just to even out your skin tone or even lighten your whole body up. The process is actually quite gradual and you won't see results until about 2-3 to three months later on. Now, the vitamin form can be purchased at GNC or your local nutrition store. Now, there's some controversy about taking the vitamin to lighten up your skin. There isn't any scientific research that proves that GSH can help lighten up the skin because GSH is actually quite a large molecule and it's hard for our skin cells to absorb it for it to actually to work. But some people have taken GSH for about two to three months and some people have seen results. Um, also, it really does help if you take vitamin E along with GSH. It helps break down the molecule a little bit easier so your cells can absorb it up a little bit better. If you don't see any skin whitening results within two months, you will definitely see some younger, brighter results within your skin. Um, if you're going to take any kind of beauty vitamin just to make yourself look better and even feel better, I highly recommend taking GSH along with vitamin E. The second kind of whitening agent is alpha hydroxy acid, otherwise known as AHA. AHA is derived from milk sugars or even fruits. AHA doesn't work on melanin itself, it's actually an acid and when you apply an acid to the skin, it acts more like an exfoliant. You can get AHA in all its acidic form or you could actually buy the cream for it. I like to use the cream from Walgreens. It's milder on the skin, but the results are a bit slower. I think it takes about a month or so for you to see any results. Now, you can do an acid peel. The option is there, but that's like a whole nother topic to go into and it's just way too much for this video. But you can do an acid peel and you will see results within one or two weeks and it's quite immediate. And if you want to go all natural, you can grab AHA from fruits such as pineapples and papayas. Um, Lycus makes a really good papaya soap that helps you exfoliate and fluff off all your dead skin cells. Um, if you just want to make a quick mask, you could go ahead and throw a papaya in a blender and put it on your face and that works just as well. So the very last chemical is called hydroquinone and the reason why I left it for the very last is because it's the most dangerous out of all the lightening products that's on the market. Hydroquinone is a huge inhibitor of the process for melanin and in fact the highest percentage that is sold over the counter is 3%. Anything higher than that, you must get a prescription from the doctor. Since the inhibition of melanin development from hydroquinone is so substantial, you could lower your melanin so much that you are going to be vulnerable to UV and UVB rays, which in turn means skin cancer. But however, hydroquinone works the fastest out of the three. What I do recommend doing is probably using hydroquinone the first week or two. It kind of gives your skin a jump start on whitening your skin. After that, you can switch over to something a little bit more gentler like AHA 
spray or even glutathione. So that's a little bit of information on whitening and how skin lightening works. I know it's a lot to absorb, but I do hope you guys learned something. I mean, what's the whole point of buying beauty products if you don't know how the chemicals work within the product? You're basically throwing your money away at the beauty industry. Also, if you're going to use any of these products or anything that's going to lighten your skin or keep your skin brighter, always wear sunscreen, even if you're going to be inside. I know fashion is my passion because it gives us a culture and some kind of society, but biology gives us life and the option to maintain our life. I enjoy both fields equally, so I do believe that you need to have a balance of both. So definitely stay beautiful, stay smart, and may we all be young together. <laughs>